I'm Tom from Do-It-Yourself Home Automation, DIY-HA.com, and this is the Arduino Tray Beta. And in a previous video, I gave just a very basic um, overview of how this board works and um, what I've been doing with it as a beta tester for Arduino. But um, in this tutorial video, I'm just going to give a little bit more information about the actual hardware specs for this board. So as I mentioned in the other video, basically the way that the tray works, it's two boards kind of mashed together into one. You have what's basically an Arduino Leonardo over here, and they've actually kind of outlined it on the tray. And then you have built around it this larger board that has a full Citara Linux processor. So you're running a Linux operating system that's electrically connected to a totally separate, basically, uh, Leonardo. And so what they're doing here with hardware is we've got over here a Texas Instruments Citara processor. And that's running at about one gigahertz. Um, it's a Citara, an AM, and then a whole string of, uh, of complicated numbers. Um, but basically, you've got quite a good clock speed, really, for, um, for a board like this. And you're also working with 512 megabytes of RAM on that processor. So you really have quite a capable little processor on there, you know, along the lines of sort of an early smartphone. Then that's connected again electrically to this onboard, basically, Leonardo. And that's got the same specs as an actual Leonardo. You've got the Atmega 332U4 processor. It's running at 16 megahertz. Um, and you've got basically all of the digital logic and, um, and ADCs and all the kind of stuff that you would expect to get on a normal Arduino board. So you've got 14 digital uh, inputs and outputs, you've got seven PWM channels, and you've got six uh, analog channels, plus you can bring in a few more. Um, some other kind of cool specs on here, you've got two USB ports, and these are actually connected to the Citara processor. So you have a separate USB uh, input over here to connect this to the actual computer that you would be working with. But you have the USB connected to the Linux operating system. So you could plug in an external hard drive, you could plug in a mouse and keyboard, and in fact, with the graphical interface, you can do just that. Um, over here, we've got an HDMI port, and that supports up to 1080 resolution, so you could really do some um, pretty good video on this board. And um, it does support HDMI audio as well. Then also on here, you have the analog audio in and audio out. So you could plug a microphone into the board and, um, and the like. And then in the back here, we've got um, our other USB ports. We've got two more over here. And we have networking. So really, all in all, you have um, quite a lot of hardware capabilities on this board.